Hello guys, what is up and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I have decided, damn the lighting looks great, but um, yeah. So, so in today's video, I have decided to include a free preset. So as you guys saw in the preview, this preset is a bubble transition. And I feel like it's something that you guys can add onto your travel videos and even your promo videos, and it will make you guys stand out. And also in the preset file, I have included a free sound effect that you guys can add to further enhance the user experience. So to download this preset file, I've left a link in the description below. So once you've downloaded it, I'll run you guys through on Premiere Pro and I'll show you guys how to apply it and how to tweak it as well. So, so yeah, so we'll just like swiftly move on to Premiere Pro. Well, okay guys, so once you've downloaded the file, so it will look something like this. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is click on it and you have the preset and the free sound effect I've included in that. So once you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to open up Adobe Premiere Pro and it should look something like this. So once it's opened up, I've got my two files that I wanna like add this transition to. So there they are. So once you go into effects, so you go so hit presets here and right click and it import presets. So once you've imported your presets, so you're gonna to want to go onto the file that you've downloaded. So so once you've opened it up, it should look something like this. So bubble transition, and that's the preset file. So click open, and there it is. You'll find that it's also got its own bin. It's by Ryan Visions, but then again, you can also switch it up, you know, re like rename it and save it to your preference. We're gonna go back onto the project and add an adjustment layer. So here it is, so we'll just drag that on top. So we're just gonna copy and paste this twice because I have two clips where I want it to transition. So, so I need one there and one there. So Command C, Command V. There we go. Perfect. So so now that we've got two, so the keyframing. So when it comes to the keyframing, we want it to be, so we want the adjustment layer to be 10 keyframes long. So there we go. And the way we're gonna adjust it is we need to make sure um, the clip, you know, our first clip that we're gonna transition from, we want it to be, so we want the adjustment layer to be in the last five keyframes, so hit. So yeah, that's five. And we also want it to be five keyframes into the next clip. So it should look something like this. So yeah, so once you've got your adjustment layer there, so once you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to go back into your effect and just drag and drop pretty much. And that's what it should look like. So, so here we go. So let me just render this real quick. There we go, perfect. So yeah, so once I've rendered it, it should look something like this. There we go. So yeah, I think it looks pretty smooth. I mean, yeah, with a bit of color correction, color grading as well, will definitely like stand out as well. And also, oh yeah, I wanted to tell you guys about the sound effect as well. So like how to add this. So that's the MP3 file I told you guys about. So I've made sure it's the same, like roughly the same size as the adjustment layer. So what you're gonna wanna do is align it so it's as close to it as possible. So it should look something like this. So there we go. There we go. So yeah, and we can also do the same for the other ones. So we want to make sure it's 10 keyframes long. Let's go, let's do this one quick. So yep, we want to make sure it's five frames towards the last clip that's the last five frames there so yep perfect and then we're just going to drag and drop the preset file and yeah it should look something not going to bother rendering this but it should look something like this so yeah 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this preset and I hope it's something that you guys can apply to your videos. And also let me know what you guys think and if there are any other presets that you want me to make, I'd be more than happy to make them. Just let me know in the comments and keep me posted I guess. And I also wanted to give you guys a quick update that I'll be uploading a short film in the coming days. I'll definitely be releasing it sometime. So this video will be released on a Monday, so I'll definitely release it like sometime during that week as well. So yeah, so I can't wait for you guys to check it out and also let me know what you guys think of it once it's out. So if you've reached to this point in the video and you're into my kind of content, it would genuinely mean a lot if you could subscribe. And I appreciate all the support that I've been getting. And um, yeah, I guess it's just something that pushes me to work further and upload more videos and hopefully be more consistent as well. So I'm just going to wrap this video up and I'll hopefully catch you guys on my next video.